Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It is Taste Vegan ATL, and today we are going to be making some vegan fried fish. I am so excited about this. However, if this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If it's not your first time here, I wanna say welcome back. And of course, I am going to be using the famous banana blossoms, okay? I'm not sure where you get this from. I actually traded some sea moss for some banana blossom. Go ahead and shop Taste Vegan ATL if you need sea moss or anything like that or merchandise, whatever you need. But anywho, yeah, banana blossom, that's what we're using today. Now, as you can see in my background, I have a lot of ingredients here. And that is because I'm trying to step away from using seasoning. I kind of like want to make my own. So traditionally, in the african-american community we use fish fry for um frying fish however it's some ingredients on the back that i don't agree with and honestly i haven't been feeling good with like things that i don't really know what's in it so i'm gonna try to make it myself i'm gonna use the blender and um make my own fish fry and i'm going to be using some cornmeal for that and I'll mix some flour and some nori sheets and all the stuff that I feel like I need to get that fishy taste. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. I am so excited. Um, I'm gonna take y'all through every step. This is gonna be a long process because I am going to drain and marinate the banana blossom because I really want this to work out. This is my first time doing it. The last thing I wanna tell y'all is, if you have these, use them. If you don't, it's okay. But for me, um, I watched a lot of videos and I only see one person wrap their banana blossom in the uh, rice paper to hold it together and give it like a skin on the fish taste. So I'm gonna be using these today um, because as you can see, as you can see, I already opened the can and it's not, you know, full parts. Like some of these are broken up into little pieces and in order to hold them together, I'm gonna be using a rice paper. So yeah, let's get started. I'm so excited. I miss you guys. I love you guys. Go ahead and subscribe. So the first thing I did was rinse my banana blossom to get the brine taste off of them. I rinsed it for like two to three minutes. Like I really rinsed them. Then I took a napkin and I squeezed all of the water out of them. And it's a lot of water. Make sure you squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So that when you put seasoning on it, it will catch all of the flavors. So the next step is for us to marinate this. Um, usually people use um, soy sauce to marinate it in, but I'm gonna use a little bit of coconut aminos and a little other ingredients. You'll see what I do. So here we go. First step, I'm gonna pour some coconut aminos over it and I'm gonna mix it at the end. I got some nori sheets. I actually have the full nori sheets and I just cut them up. Let me show y'all that real quick. So I do have the full sheet, but I just literally cut it up. We're gonna mix that in to give it the fishy taste. I have some seafood seasoning. I love, love, love Chef Paul, whatever his last name is. So we're gonna pour that in there. Next, of course we got the Old Bay. I didn't uh, realize that this got some blacking in it, but who cares, just pour it in, all right? Then I'm gonna put a little bit of oil. You can use olive oil, whatever oil, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna add in my powders, onion powder, garlic powder, all that. So onion powder. This is a, and a very, very, very important step because you wanna make sure it's seasoned. I don't do bland food, boo boo. I ain't mean pour that much in it either, but all right, let's see what it's looking like. So we're gonna mix that all together. All right, added my Creole seasoning. Mix that together. I feel really good about this. Look at that, y'all, look at that. Should I add some more nori sheets? Let's just add a little bit more now. Can't hurt, right? I actually wanna add a little more seasoning. I want this to be on point, you heard me. All right. 
We'll add a little bit more. I'm not measuring this as you can see. And then we're gonna add a little more Creole and we good to go. I'm gonna let this sit for like two hours, an hour or so. All right, so my next step is to recreate the fish fry. Um, and basically all I did was look on the back of here and see what type of ingredients they have in here. They have salt, spices, dried garlic, citric acid, we ain't doing that. They got some lemon juice in here and all that good stuff. So this is what we are gonna do. We are gonna put some flour in here. Even though flour, this is about two cups. I'm gonna use about one and a half just to start with. We're gonna do some cornmeal. I don't know how much this is, but we're just gonna pour it all in there. And I'm doing a wet and dry mix, so that's why I'm using so much. I'm throw a nori sheet in there, put the rest of these crumbs in there. Put a little baking powder in there, why not? <laughs> why not? Put a little bit of that in there. Okay, we're gonna put some cornstarch in there. Ooh. Yes, I'm freestyling all this, so um, if you're looking for a recipe, you gotta watch the whole video. That's all I can say. All right, Old Bay. Let's obey it out with my Creole seasoning. With my Creole seasoning. <laughs> All right. Throw some of that in there. Yes, I'm using a lot because I want it to be good. And put all my powders in. Ooh. You know what I'm actually gonna grab? I'm gonna go grab some lemon pepper. Ooh, why did I put I this? I wouldn't found some. Um, I didn't have the camera all the way up, so I apologize about that. We're gonna add that lemon pepper. The reason I'm adding lemon pepper is because on the back of here it said, what it said? It said crystallized lemon, lemon oil, lemon juice. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. Now we're gonna blend this together and we're gonna see how we look it. So I'll be back to show y'all how it looks blended up together. So this is how it turned out. I am so excited. You could barely even see the nori sheets because I blended it. It tastes amazing. Only thing I'm gonna add is a little bit of salt to get to bring out the taste. And I'm gonna have to blend it again because it's sea salt and it's not finely grated. So I'm gonna have to um, do that, y'all. This is amazing. You can make enough of this and store it for another time, but this is a great idea. Get in this kitchen and get the whipping, okay? All right, so we are almost to frying time. We just had to make our wet batter. So we already made our fish fry. It looks great, it smells amazing. Um, for my wet batter, I'm only using one liquid and that's club soda. You can use sparkling water, you can use milk, whatever you prefer. This was like 79 cent in the store. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be cheap today and get this. So pour that in. All right, I'm putting me some fresh lemon in here. Some fresh lemon juice. All right, and yes, I'm going to use a whole lemon. Pour me a little hot sauce in there. And we'll be good to go. Let me mix this real quick. Yep, that's it. Of course, if it's too thick, you just add a little bit more. Y'all, this was like the best thing I discovered using um, club soda instead of milk and all that other stuff. Uh, club soda or sparkling water, both of those will do the same thing. I put a little bit too much, so I add me a little more. Y'all, I, I just know this gonna turn out great. I just feel it. Oh my God, look at that. So that's it. That's the consistency that you want. I'm gonna let this finish marinating over here. I'm gonna pour half of this in a, a bag to store my customized 
um, homemade fish fry. And we'll be back. We'll be ready to fry. To go with my fish, I'm going to make some grits. And I'm just making this while my fish finish marinating. All right, it's just me, so I don't need a lot. Pour that in. Always whisk your grits the entire time. And it was butter and salt already in here. Ah, I'm still getting popped. Oh. All right, I'm gonna let that cook down. Y'all, I'm adding some Violife cream cheese, still soy free. And I'm going to be using some cheddar cheese. I know it's nothing in here. I already kind of like pulled it in the bowl over there. So yeah, just to let y'all know I'm making some grits to go with my, you know, stuff. So that's what we doing. Okay, so now it is time to wrap the banana blossom in the nori sheet. As you can see, I already did one. I had to make sure I actually knew how to do it before I showed y'all. All right, so first step, I took my nori sheet and I got a pan of water over here. I'm gonna just dip it in. As you can see, front and back. Do it again, make sure the entire sheet gets wet. All right, I'm gonna place it here. It can get sticky. Um, I should have used like a glass uh, cutting board instead of this wood one, but it's all good. So, put our banana blossom in. Now it's up to you how uh, much you wanna put inside. So fold in the sides like this, and then we're just gonna wrap it over. It is getting stuck, let me all right, just make sure you stuff it and wrap it over. I have never done this before, y'all, seriously. So that's how we look. And you can shape it to how you want to shape it. All right, let me try that one more time. And it does get a little looser, like, y'all, this feels like gooey. So it does get better. All right, I'm gonna do this again. Ooh, child. It looks something like this. All right, so the moment we have all been waiting for. Uh, I'm so nervous, y'all. I just really am um, because I don't know. I never did this before. So, uh, wet batter. This feels like it's about to come apart, but we're going to try to see how this works. So, we're going to roll it in the wet batter. Oh, Lord. All right. I'm going to just kind of put it on there with my hand because I'm scared it's going to come apart. All right. Roll it in our dry batter. Okay, here we go. And it's off. And just hope it do what it's supposed to do. I'm gonna go ahead and put this little small one in there too. So, roll that in the wet. Kinda knock some off with my hand. Roll it in the dry. And then we are gonna let it fry. Okay, here we go. So I wanna show y'all what it's looking like. That's how it's looking. I'm gonna let it fry for like two more minutes. Now, I don't know how to get this shaped up like a piece of fish. Now, if you know something I don't know, let me know. But that's how it's looking. That look pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna let that fry for like two more minutes and do the same thing with my last three and then we should be ready to try it. I am extremely curious about how this looks when you cut it open. Y'all, I can't, I can't, I can't wait. I just can't. Where is it? Look at that. Y'all finna bite it. I can't, I can't wait. I've been waiting so long. Oh my God. That is crazy. That's good. 
So it is officially tasting time. I had to break up some fish so that I could eat the fish with the grits. Y'all, but by itself, this joint is good. And I did put some maple syrup. If you see some little stuff rolling around in here, that's maple syrup. Okay, here we go. Hmm. This is a dream come true. Mm. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. This vegan thing was making me discouraged. It's not easy being vegan. Because sometimes you're tired of buying food. Sometimes you're tired of trying to figure out different recipes. But this just renewed my strength, y'all. This just renewed my strength. Hallelujah. Now, critiquing time. If you want this to be in the shape of some fish, I would not wrap it in rice paper. I would uh, mend it together with the dry, with the dry fish fry. Okay, so if you want it to look like fish, but the actual um, rice paper give it like a skin taste, like you say, like I just went fishing and fried some fish. I'm so happy. I had to use this because my other mic, I lost it. I don't know where it is. Y'all, remember to subscribe. I'm about to go sit down and enjoy this. I see y'all later. I've been looking in the wrong spot the whole time. Bye, y'all. Thank you for watching. I hope you like my recipe. See you later.